Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading. This is going to be a special uh, reading. Having a look at the messages you need to know at this current time frame. So wherever you're at um, with whatever you're doing, this message is going to be for you and um, it's more intuitive. So we'll just go in to see um, each certain situation, if anything comes up, any sort of specifics here as well. So I want you to focus on what you're going through or what you're feeling you need answers or guidance to. Um, and hopefully this is going to be helpful for some of you. So um, I just want to say thank you for being here with me today. It really does mean a lot. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe um, and join the YouTube fam. Otherwise, let's let's get into these intuitive messages for those that are watching and those that have been led to this reading for a reason or a purpose. So uh, let's have a look. Okay, let's start with the top left. I've grouped them and we're going to flow with that. So, okay, there's definitely a massive situation being turned around in regards to a relationship or a collaboration of some kind. It could be a friendship. Uh, it could be a love situation, but we're really seeing the tide turning. So there's a massive breakthrough happening for uh, some of you in your, um, could be in your love lives or like I said, a collaboration or a friendship. Normally, I mean, this is the family card with the Ten of Cups, can be like a happy relationship here. Um, but the Four of Wands can be anything to do with like a marriage. So this is someone you might have been engaged to or married to or wanted to be engaged or married to. There's definitely um, a situation that's being turned around. You're literally going from the Six to the Four to the Ten, um, which is quite substantial. Okay, could, could also be with a Libra or a Taurus. Um, by the scales here, this card is known as Libra or Taurus. So um, things that were in balance, there's something about some begging or pleading. It might be that you're begging God, you're pleading um, with the universe because you're hoping something will change or improve. It's almost like God or spirit or the universe finally hears your prayers um, and gives you something here to work with because there is a celebration. Oftentimes there's a certain event um, connected to the Four of Wands. So it may be that an event brings you this resolution. It could be like um, an invitation. It could be a wedding that you might bump into this person, especially if it's family drama because of the Ten of Cups. It can be a situation that needs healing with another person or another energy. Um, and it might be like a family event, like a wedding, um, a celebration of some kind. Uh, where you meet this person um, and you might reconcile with them. It's very likely that a reunion can happen, but it's definitely one that's had that hardship, okay? Um, you know, the Six of Pentacles is, it's, it's, it's a moment where you can be kind and that kindness is going to go the difference. Whether this is you or this person, a gesture of kindness is going to re-spark or reignite a reconciliation of some kind that's definitely well needed because the rainbow is coming out. So this is the storm and that's the rainbow. So if you have that rainbow, um, if you have that rainbow coming up, it's really saying that you've weathered the storm and you're finally, there's, there's a calm that's coming um, that I think you've been waiting on for quite some time uh, and it's definitely coming your way. So this is a really good sign. There's also children here. Um, so it's feeling like a child again. Um, it also could be that someone, this person, could be like the collaboration, whoever this energy is, is reactivating something from your childhood, um, something from your inner child. It doesn't appear to be um, in a traumatic way. I think it's something about liberation and freedom because that's what the children can represent. Um, okay, for some of you here, I definitely have a third party situation, could be around a Taurus, 
Um, the Hierophant can also be someone who's very well respected or someone in a very powerful position. Um, there's definitely options. Um, this is definitely related to work or love. Okay, Venus represents um, money okay, and love at the same time or a relationship connected to money and love. But it could also be that you have options or there might be a sort of situation coming up in work um, or whoever this is um, that's, that's really in the public eye. Um, there could be some drama connected to this. I'm getting that some of you have a powerful person who's going to show a vulnerable side to you. Um, but it's also going to create some of this third party situation here. It could also be jealousy. Um, I get jealousy. So you might have someone very powerful showing you attention or giving you praise. And it might, res might result in um, jealousy or hurt, especially from air signs around you, perhaps Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Um, but there's definitely um, you're being noticed by this person. Um, it could be something to do with property and estates. So if you're choosing choosing something here, you're going to find um, something that's really going to stand out here to you because the Six of Wands is victory, victory over the situation here. Victory is to happen in the future. It's facing the right-hand side. So there is victory or you coming to this person is going to help. There might be a fire sign involved here as well. Um, who's going to bring about this victory. But I see you elevated here. Um, so I'm getting a promotion actually for some of you, but it might hurt people around you. There might be jealousy, maybe through a partner, maybe someone you work with. Uh, they might definitely be feeling um, feelings of that. There's definitely the notion of people watching you. So I think you're going to be in the spotlight. Um, but it's a large crowd of people, which is interesting. So you might be visiting a seminar or a conference or a talk of some kind with someone influential. Are you either are watching this person very closely or you might have people watching you very closely? There's definitely um, you being put on the spotlight or you being put on the stage, being watched and admired by crowds of people, whether this is online or in person, um, and earning their respect or earning respect of your peers, it may somehow still happen through this third of a uh, three of swords. Um, but like I said, could be a love triangle definitely at work or connected to work, you might find yourself attracted to someone at work. Um, you might find yourself um, second guessing a relationship here for some of you because of this. It can also be a betrayal um, through this powerful person somehow. So it may be a message for you to keep your guard up. Be careful who you're telling things to. Air signs can, they are the communicative signs. They're ruled by the mind. They're ruled by air. Um, and they can engage in gossip. Not all, possibly more, I think, Gemini um, and Aquarius. Libra tends to be a little bit more diplomatic, but just have your wits about you um, if you are in that situation. Um, okay, over here, we've got a powerful soulmate twin flame love connection. There's a Gemini or a Cancer um, couple here, maybe, or someone you might be connecting to that is a gem or a Cancer. And there's definitely communication coming. I also want to say there's someone from the past that's still harboring feelings for some of you. And I actually see you dressing up the part and either going to meet this person face to face or having, um, it could be like a FaceTime together or an online chat. It's someone from your past though, or someone you've been nostalgic about. So if you've been thinking about an ex or someone um, that does have these placements, it could be that this person is also thinking about you too at the same time. Um, because nine is a number of endings, yes. 
Um, but there's something about an element of sophistication. Some of you could also be needing someone who reminds you of someone from your past. And it's almost like you feel some sort of nostalgia. It might even be a past life connection that brings the two of you together. But those of you that are seeking love, there's definitely a destined meeting happening here, um, which is really beautiful. You've got the lovers. So this is an angel that's bringing you together. Angels and messengers here as well. So you might see little signs from the universe through angel numbers, songs, phrases, words, signs, and symbols that are foreshadowing a destined meeting here for you. So pay attention to the signs. Um, But I also see that there's some of you are entering a very beautiful relationship very soon. Um, and this person is absolutely going to spoil you. And I get that they're in it for the long term. Look at these double sphinxes. There's a compatibility here. It's unparalleled. So black and white complement each other. They're opposites, but they complement each other in the yin and yang um, uh, collaboration but i think this is more romantic than anything i'm also getting someone's reaching out and messaging you and saying that they miss you again it's this nostalgia coming through um the chariot can also as the cancer can it, it can rule a motherly kind of energy um so it might be that you're meeting the mother of your loved one or someone is going to really be quite caring and tender and motherly to you. They want to look after you in this way. So they might be coming through in the cards here as well. It might be that you're um, telling your mother or someone who is a mother figure in your life about someone special, or someone romantic as well. I also feel like there's someone here who's prepared to go the distance here with you, especially if there's been like tough times or miscommunication. Um, I think the angel is opening up those lines of communication once again. And I sense that there is going to be someone who wants to go the distance because the chariot has, he's prepared, right? He's prepared to do what he needs to do to make this work. Um, protection is the canopy. And also see stars, I often associate stars with destiny and things being um, written in the stars for you. Um, but there's definitely a, a, a message here from them that you won't see coming. It's really going to be unexpected. Um, you won't see it coming. The falcon's eyes are covered, um, the reason being so as to not to overwhelm, but it could also indicate um, the bird as a messenger the eyes are, are covered because you're not seeing this message. It could also be that someone's talking to you, uh, someone's talking about you to their mother. Again, covered so you're not aware of it. I don't think it's anything bad. I think it's good things. You know, it's it's things connected to praise um, and admiration. Like, look at this Nine of Pentacles. It's just so... I often see the Nine as maybe even a muse card. So you might be a muse to someone here as well. Um and they're really, um, uh, really honing in on that uh, is what I'm seeing. Okay, there's definitely a very painful situation here for some of you that I'm getting. The Five of Cups is lost. Third party, there may be a betrayal here because the Ten of Swords has come up here as well. And the Hangman, okay, someone's being punished. Oh, punished. Um, it's, it's like a, a, a silent treatment even. So, oh, where's my card gone? Here it is. Okay, so the hangman. Hangman fell out. It's upside down. Okay, betrayal. Someone's trying to hurt or betray you, maybe in a way. They're feeling the loss or they're feeling pain of some kind here. Um, a lot of you are saying goodbye to a chapter in your life. It might be a person or an addiction. Five of Cups can often be read as a drinking issue. I don't know if some of you are dealing with someone who does have a drinking issue or you're trying to help them through that. They're really going through it. They're really feeling it is what I'm getting. The hangman is telling me there is someone who's not in a good place. It might be you or someone that you're dealing with. 
Hangman can be connected to crime and felonies and doing things that are frowned upon in society. Um, or some of you might be engaging this behavior and you're sort of looking at things and assessing them. Um, there is an epiphany coming. Um, it's almost like the golden sun. Very early stages still, but you're on the precipice of a breakthrough or this person might be on the precipice of a breakthrough, which could lead them into a better position. More time needs to happen, though, because, you know, this whoever this is, they've got their back turned to the, to the options, the resources, and the second chances behind them because they're still dwelling on this. So some of you might be dwelling on a situation that did fall apart or something that you feel guilty about and you're still thinking about it. Some of you might be betraying yourself in the process by dwelling on it a little bit too much, maybe from a more judgmental standpoint, rather than something acknowledging and going, how can I learn from this? How can I do better? Because we're only human. We all make mistakes. We're all in this human experience together. And I think we're all working through our own little um, bits and bobs. But I think, yeah... Could be some backstabbing here going on words swords can be words or thoughts that have hurt someone so some of you might have felt like you hurt another person and now you're thinking about how that's the how that has unfolded um the hangman i also get is someone being hung up so you might be hung up about this situation or someone that you're dealing with or has felt this from you or you have felt from them um you're still hung up on it okay you're still kind of dealing um dealing so i'm getting like anything to do with sort of punishing yourself maybe judging yourself too harshly um it could even be punishing another person it could even be anything to do with communication you know you're waiting for communication but that has stopped because the swords are all stacked up here and there's darkness when there's darkness there's no light there's no illumination. We can't sort of see where we're going and what we're doing things, um, what we're doing. But look at these grays and blacks. Okay, some of you are not in a good stage here. So you need to, you know, think about how you're going to turn this around. What can you do? Where's that epiphany here? What can you do differently to help yourself in the situation? Either forgiving yourself, forgiving that person, um, forgiving but not forgetting, forgetting but not forgiving, you know, whatever you need to go through here. Um, because this, this will pass, you know, nothing is forever. Everything is temporary. And the dust ends up settling. The situation will soften. So I, I really feel like you need to look to the light because it's, it's early days, but there is light here around you that I think you need to focus on. Um, and there is whatever this is, redemption. Second chances, two of cups can be two of cups, the soulmate, the love card. Um, it could be a second chance for yourself, for a relationship, for communication, for a restoration of an issue. So I think you need to, yeah, hang on to the light because it's definitely on its way here. Um, but I hope this has helped some of you. Um, in certain different situations and of course thank you very much for tuning in um, lots of love and angel blessings and don't forget to subscribe to the channel um, thank you again everyone and bye for now